Welcome to the Oculus Rift S setup tutorial. In this video, we'll show you how to set up your brand new Oculus Rift S. Start by taking a look inside the Oculus Rift S box. Each box should contain a headset with a display port and USB 3.0 cable, a mini display port adapter, two AA batteries, two touch controllers, a safety and warranty guide, and a reference guide. Make sure your PC passes the Oculus compatibility tool. Today, we're using a custom-built Falcon Northwest desktop. Next, go to oculus.com setup and click Download Oculus Rift S software. Open the downloaded file to begin the installation process. Select which drive to install the software to. You can install apps and games to separate storage drives if you prefer. If you already have the software installed, open the Oculus application on your PC and go through the new hardware setup. If this is your first time setting up the Oculus software, great! Follow the instructions to begin the hardware setup. If you've previously set up an Oculus Rift, select Devices in the left menu. Click Configure Rift S and then select Full Setup to begin the Rift S setup. Next, select the Rift S headset. First, plug in the USB cable into a compatible 3.0 USB port, then display port into a dedicated graphics card port. For laptops or older graphics cards, Rift S also comes with a mini display port adapter. If you're using Rift S on a laptop, keep your charger plugged in to avoid performance issues. When using a laptop with Rift S, it's important to ensure your laptop is Oculus Ready certified. We're using a certified Falcon Northwest TLX laptop, perfect for Rift S. Now, follow the on-screen instructions to run the Rift S setup. The software will detect whether your cables are plugged in and working properly. If the cables are plugged in but not detected, try another USB 3.0 port, then display port that is connected to your dedicated graphics card. To ensure proper tracking, make sure your Windows 10 installation, USB drivers, and graphics card drivers are all up to date. Click Next, and you'll likely be prompted to update the firmware. Just click Update. Firmware updates may take a few moments. Now it's time to set up your controllers. Put a battery in each controller and follow the on-screen instructions to pair your left controller first. Hold the Menu button and the Y button. Once the light starts blinking and the software pairs the controller, hit Continue and follow the same steps for the right controller, this time holding the Oculus button and B button. At this point, the installation software may run a firmware update on the controllers. Click Update if necessary. Once it's done updating, hit Continue. Before moving forward, please read the health and safety content provided on screen. After you've read and acknowledged the safety information, you're ready to jump into VR. If you're using Windows 10 N, be sure to install the Windows Media Pack and obtain the WMF Windows Media Foundation drivers. If you're stuck, check out the Oculus Support Center for additional troubleshooting. To learn more about your Oculus Rift S, you can watch more of this tutorial series or follow the Support Center link in the reference guide. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in VR.